how he plays against Scar here. And I've also heard pretty mixed things about this matchup. Uh, I think the general consensus is that Cloud comes out on top a little bit. Oh, for sure. But, but... I mean, both of these characters are definitely good enough in the right hand to outplay their opponent. So I'm going to be interested in seeing what to use. Yeah, for sure. It's just a good old classic matchup. I mean, I guess for ultimate standards and um, yeah, I most definitely would give the edge to Cloud. I mean, not because he's just holding the uh, Buster Sword, but uh, it's just, well, actually, no, I'm I'm lying. It is because he's holding the Buster Sword. Uh, that range is just something that uh, Wario's have a tough time dealing with. It, it's just not in his kit to really... Um, deal with a disjoint you know those safe back airs are just going to be that safe back airs and love can't do much about it he's just going to have to use his crafty movement to escape stuff like that but scar gonna immediately sapoku that's uh first stock but also take his opponent with him yeah and i feel like we're gonna see a lot of clutch moments around the ledge in this matchup because like you said the sword is gonna make neutral a lot harder for wario especially because wario uh very good character but does have kind of telegraphed options uh that cloud can deal with so i feel like loaf is gonna have to do a lot of work around the ledge with that lingling lingering pair uh or like a nair um, and try and get star off stage yeah and uh, just to cue you guys in and chat loaf he's one of the few warriors and i love this from his warrior he actually uses the crawl function like crawl is so crazy and I love how Loaf uses it to kind of microspace himself around certain hitboxes and put himself in positions where he can get guards just like this. Yeah, definitely. And right there, we saw one of those really good nares. Um, I feel like Mario's don't use the nair around the ledge enough. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just so active. And although it's not going to kill, it can definitely get a character like Cloud. But... Yeah, but speaking of, there goes that back air. It's infamous for a reason, just a super solid kill move. But we're trading back airs out here. <laughs> Yeah, both of these characters just such great options to kill the other one in the corner. Yes, indeed. All right, the double cross slash gonna make the shield very low. Eventually, it's gonna shield Pokey there, low. So, gonna take the 15 on the chin, but continues to push the advantage. Oh man, he's backing Scar into a corner, but Scar is able to fight out with these massive hitboxes. Yeah, you can see Loaf has, ever since that uh, glow started, he started seeing red and started just running at Scar here, but nothing is connecting. Oh, but it only takes one. Oh, uh, kind of falling out of the air there. I'm not sure how consistently doing it in that way will work, but getting shoved into the corner. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, going really deep for that. Uh, he had limits, so he definitely could have made it back, but still a really good back air down there. Yeah, it most definitely caught Loaf off guard because, um, yeah, with that limit, Cloud gets a little bit faster, so he's gonna reach you uh, a lot quicker. Gotta be on your toes for that. Yeah, so getting into game two, I mean, that was a super solid game one, but like, that last stock scenario, Scar just came off the Angel platform, a new man. So did Loaf, kind of, because um, he just couldn't get into Scar's threat bubble without eating a Buster Sword to the face. Yeah, I mean, it was it was just... Uh, Loaf, unfortunately, just got stuck in disadvantage that last stock. Sometimes against Cloud, piloted by a good player like Scar, it's just so hard to get out of that situation. Yeah, sometimes it just feels hopeless because he back airs your shield and you're like, okay, I'll just punish what he does after. And it's like, oh, I can't punish what he does after? Well, maybe I'll just sit in shield and wait for the next one. Yeah, it's, that, it's just that mix of, like, reacting and guessing slash repeating your opponent in that situation. And I feel like really good players are just so good at, like, blending it perfectly where, like, they're ready to react whenever they can. A character like Cloud really makes that come to life. Indeed, indeed. But Loaf on the back foot early on here in this first stock, but if he can outlive this limit, maybe he can find himself a, a nice in. Ooh, and there goes the quick three-piece combo, putting uh, Scar at 86%. Yeah, and Loaf taking back Ooh. this game. Are we going to see an edge guard here? Yes, indeed. That should do it. Yeah, really? I mean, I want to say that's almost just Loaf's win condition. This matchup right now is just have to abuse Cloud off the stage there. Yeah, it, it's that. And then eventually getting the walk confirmed to seal out the game, which we didn't. Whoa. Unfortunate upbeat for Star. 
it, it's been very odd. I mean, oh, shield break to shut us up real quick here as <laughs> put all eyes back on Scar as he is not out of it. Yeah, and it is a bit of a mountain to climb when no Wario's gonna, you're gonna have to live through a walk, basically, if you wanna make a comeback here. Yeah. But honestly, as long as you can stay playing defensive, oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. That was a... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Scar, not a fan of motorcycles. Yeah, and even then it didn't take it out. You can see why he's not a fan of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, I, I actually never thought about that. That's pretty funny. Like, it does one damage. It's, it probably doesn't break, like, Hydra or anything. Yeah, it doesn't even <laughs> put a dent into it. It's just crazy. <laughs> but, um... Oh, we got the dash attack there, all, not at all near failing, and Loaf has full walk online. Yeah, all things, they're not looking good for Scar. Scar. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a great job so far this stock, but I feel like Loaf just recently here has kind of got the momentum back right now, and that's exactly what he needs to pull this game. Yeah, he's gonna chill here at the ledge. I mean, because the longer this game takes, uh, Better position Loaf may be in. Oh, there goes the back air, and that seals out game one at the one, two, three, four percent. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, also, I love that Wario wind screen yeah. where he rolls around on the ground laughing. <laughs> I feel like it's so rude. It's hilarious. Yeah, to me. It, just, it just encapsulates Wario <laughs> in a nutshell. All right. Game three, and we have a set on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that game too, a little bit muddled by the SD that Scar literally did at 0%, but it probably gives Loaf the momentum to kind of make uh, make this a lot more competitive and, uh, you know, a little bit more fun as we could possibly get, you know, very tense games coming down the line. Oh, yeah. I mean, Mario, I, I think the fact that Loaf just exists makes Mario a great spectator character, in my opinion. Like, mm -hmm. so many clutch plays, like... You can see how people have to play around block whenever Mario gets it. Uh, just everything like that, it, it makes it really entertaining to watch Mario and Loaf. Loaf's punish game is just amazing. I love watching Loaf. Yeah, it seems like poetry in on video whenever he starts getting those combos, especially the conversions into Waff, he's just so quick about it. And you pretty much have to be, especially with uh, full Waff when it got that uh, uh, frame nerf, so yeah. really got to be tight on your combos. Oh, and the down air, does that seal it? Not quite, but the air dodge is expense, and that's yeah. pretty much a dead cloud. Fair, excellent for covering that. And we saw Scar already sneak off the ledge there a few times, but uh, the, the second time it happened there, the down air didn't catch him. Yes, indeed. Oh, you see Scar, he's just trying to space these aerials, you know, pretty much trying to bring back that magic he had game one. Almost even went for a shield break again there, but not quite popping it. Oh man, Loaf is playing dangerous with this tiny shield there. I mean, Loaf may be getting flashbacks to the shield strength <laughs> last game, but him and him shield, it held up. It held up this time. Yeah, I guess really all you need to do is have it shield that one attack, and then you can have that crazy advantage state. Oh boy, and there goes the command grab. Such a good option for Wario to have, honestly. Yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah, that was like the third time the stock that Loaf has gone for it for now. Uh, Oof. way more than I feel like previously in the set, because I feel like they're kind of, they're kind of getting into this neutral where, um, they're sort of fielding and just jumping over each other a lot, and uh, a move like Wario's Chomp is really good for disrupting that. Yeah. I think Loaf has, has, uh, noticed that that's happening too, and now starting to mix in more of the command grab. Ooh, wow, that almost took Scar's stock there. That down tilt and dash attack, one of the more cons uh, you know, consistent kill confirms that Wario has. Okay, great grab from Loaf there to reset the edge guard scenario, but okay, does not get spiked off stage there. Would have been tragic, but there goes the stanky foot fair. <laughs> Finishes off that second yeah. stock, and Loaf is in advantage. The amount that that move lingers is kind of absurd. Yeah, it, it, it's it's pretty much a, a sex kick in there, uh, it, but it's on Wario's forward aerial, and it, it just does work sometimes. Yeah, that's, that's a really good comparison, actually. I don't know how many characters have airs like, like it's always their air. Like, yeah, and unless you're Pikachu and all of your aerials are that, so. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, there goes a Nair sending them off stage. But yeah, Scar really has to play on Razor's Edge. Uh, pun intended because he has a sword. You guys get it now? <laughs> but, I got it, yeah. yeah. But pretty much what I was really alluding to is the waft on deck that could rob the stock even as low as 65%. Trying to catch Loaf jumping out a shield or even a shield poke there because Loaf's skill was a little down, but didn't quite get locked in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not able to live either way. I mean, Loaf had nothing to lose going down there. That was just a really unfortunate spot for Cloud to be in. Yeah, I, I think it was a scenario of checkmate because there, Loaf uh, tracked Scar. You know, it's always a dangerous situation when you're falling at the same speed as your opponent when they're in an advantage. As uh, Loaf just needs to react to the jump, use the waft, and then um, if, if Scar went any higher, he's going to get hit by the waft. Uh, if he goes any lower, he doesn't recover. So, yeah, checkmate. But we get the character switch, which I was going to talk about at the beginning of the set, but Scar's been going cloud for, uh, I think, the entire tournament. I haven't seen the Joker in a hot minute. Yeah, Joker, I mean, this used to be, like, the tried and true for a long time for Scar, especially the early days after COVID when tournaments were first coming back, but you don't see it as much now. Yeah, but, I mean, you mentioned it earlier when we were talking about Loaf's run. He had a very close encounter with Zoro, and I feel like he's super comfortable in the Joker matchup right now. Yeah, I, I honestly agree. I mean, he's going to have to win two games. Uh, or Loaf has, has two games to fall back on here. Like, even if... Uh, the Joker catches him off guard this game. He will have time to adapt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Scar's most definitely putting a lot on the Joker switch, but honestly, uh, on his end, it's good to try to mix things up. I don't know, it, he felt that there was something, because he has a lot of characters in his pocket. I mean, some people could even consider him somewhat of a counterpicker sometimes. Um, doing this for so long, you gotta know those moments when you wanna pull out those other characters, so. Yeah. I mean, Scar is a good enough player. Like, I, I trust him to mm -hmm. switch here. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so far, it, like, it was looking bad at the beginning of the game, but so far he's just had an impressive advantage state to bring it right back, pretty much even up the percents. Yeah, Mario stuck in the corner here, but that grab was really dangerous, but it worked out. Yeah, I am, I am interested to uh, see why Loaf pretty much never uses back throw. I mean, Mario back throw, not really a kill throw for sure, but... Oh, no! But... Wow. I, I wonder if that was planned from Loaf, because he's smiling like... Maybe he... Maybe it was a devious smile, maybe it was a... I didn't know that would happen I, smile. <laughs> I have never... I did not even know that would happen. <laughs> you know, I kn like, yeah, that's so that's so crazy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes, indeed. For those uninitiated, pretty much Joker Uppy, it actually grabs items if you didn't know. Oh my goodness! And the first waft confirmed. Yeah, first waft confirmed. I mean, if the game keeps going like this, maybe the last. But if you have another arson coming in. Yes, and arson swings games harder than any other oh yeah you know it's one of the main reasons why i think this character is still the best well one of the best in the game i mean there's steve but. <laughs> <laughs> all right i love the b reverse chomp there yeah that i mean that's a little bit what i was saying earlier that's a good option to control the mix up the mix up the timing and change the pace Oh my goodness, the falling back here gonna give uh, Scar op uh, like a good opportunity to seal out the stock here, but just can't keep Loaf on that ledge. But you have this corner scenario, and oh man, that's a tough reversal. Yep. Yeah. Loaf gonna take it 3 1. Um, so that's a top 8 qualifier, right? Yeah. Loaf punches his ticket. Um, I think he's actually gonna square off with Onan. That's what that means. Um, if that's that side of bracket, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. I know that matchup is considered pretty bad for Wario. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that matchup can be really rough. Like, it, 